I'm not here tonight to talk about men or to talk about church or religion. For all those things have their failures and flaws. Every one of you can stand up and make accusations against these things. Men are weak and sinful. Religion is sometimes weak and failing. But Christ, there is no one like Christ. He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He's the Son of God. He is infinite perfection. He is strong. He is mighty. He has never failed. And He has fulfilled every promise He has ever made. You have no argument against Him. For there is no one like Him. He and He alone is the Savior of the world and the Christ of God. So it's all about Christ. What do you think of Him? For that is the very basis of God's judgment of men. While it is true that one day you will stand before God and be judged with regard to your sin, you must understand that the greatest question on that day will be this. What think ye of Jesus Christ? What have you done with Christ? Jesus Christ created you. And in that, He has a claim upon you. He is your maker. And by virtue of that, He is also your possessor, your owner. And not only does He take ownership, but He is also Lord. You say, I do not see that. Where is His throne? Know this that God has appointed a day in which He will judge every man through this One who was crucified by wicked men, Jesus Christ. His throne is coming. His judgment is near. And on that day when He judges, everyone will recognize His right to judge because He is judging the very thing He has made. There's something that you must understand about God the Father. His Son is everything to Him. Everything the Father has ever done, He has done it for His Son. He created the world in His Son. He reveals Himself to the world through His Son. He redeems the world through His Son. And He judges the world through His Son. Christ is foremost in every thought of God. And Christ is foremost in the thoughts of every being that finds its dwelling place in heaven. When Jesus Christ returns, He will stretch forth His hand upon the world. And He will say, Mine, 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 mine. It was made by me. And it was made for me. And seated upon His throne, God Himself will see to it that every knee bows and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And on that day, you will know what is truly real. And the Word of God will be vindicated. And some of you will rejoice in that. But others of you will realize that you've lived for a wrong thing. And you have lost all things. <laughs>